Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Kerry and Anna from the Active IQ uh, marketing team. And we are here, we are another finalist for this year's AOC World Skills Fitness Training Competition. And we are joined this afternoon by the lovely Amanda Hartshorn from Colleague Gwent. Hello, Amanda. Hi everyone. Hiya, how are you doing? We're very well, how are you? Are, are you speaking to us from lovely Wales? I am, yes. The lovely, I'm looking out the window, I'm hesitant to say sunny, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fantastic, fantastic. It's, it's, first, it's lovely to meet you, and of course, congratulations on being a finalist. Uh, you must be super proud. Oh yeah, absolutely. Thanks very much. Um, yeah, really exciting to be part of it. Thank you. Fantastic. I guess the important question is, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so obviously, we've already said I'm Amanda. Um, in the sunny Wales, so I'm one of four finalists that's got through from Colleague Gwent. My original background isn't actually in fitness, so I'm not your, your average person who's come into fitness, they've been interested all their lives. And then there's lots of people who's got a really inspirational story, so weight loss and exercise has helped them with their health. So those really positive stories, I haven't got one of those either. Um, my background is in science. Um, I'm a science lecturer. And I've come into Colleague Went as a member of staff to support learners who need additional support in the classroom. And I found myself supporting in fitness. And from there, I, I really fell in love with the course. And the tutors at the time said, well, you know, you, you're enjoying this. Why don't you do the course yourself? And so I did. So I've gone through the level two and the level three um, and any other, any other course I can grab as well, because I love it so much. And that, that's how I found myself here. Wow, that sounds amazing. I mean, everybody starts their journey in different ways. So, so, so it's great. So we've got a scientist. Yeah. Fantastic. So how, how, did, you, how did you get into science? How, how, how did you start there? Oh, I, I always loved science as a child, um, particularly um, astronomy. So really interested in yeah. space and okay. uh, physics. So it's, it's always been a love. Mm -hmm. Science is, was my first love. Oh, okay. All, yeah. all, the, all the clever stuff, basically. <laughs> <laughs> the interesting things, yeah. yeah. All the, all, lots of different questions. I like having questions answered. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Well, okay. I'd love a piece of your brain. Um, it's going to be very <laughs> analytical, I, 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 would, I would think, to, to cope with all of that. So can you tell us how you get started with the competition? I mean, obviously, you just said there that you were you obviously tutoring at, at the college. And then you got into the fitness side. So you were you covering a few fitness classes then? Is, is, is that how you got started? The I, I wasn't covering classes. No, um, what I was doing is supporting learners. So okay. I'm an, an ASA, which is an additional okay. support assistant. Um, so any learners who need additional support with their studies in the classroom, I support those learners. And I ended up in a class supporting a learner who was on the fitness course. Okay. And then I followed that learner through with his studies and took it up myself as well because it was just really interesting. I loved learning how the body works and that, you know, good technique with the exercises and good teaching skills. So I was I was learning these things along the way with, with my students anyway. So it was a really, you know, a natural step to, to enroll on the courses myself. Yeah, so you were doing the hard work anyway. Obviously, like this is doing a great job of supporting someone else, and then you thought, actually, this 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 looks quite interesting and good. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. It was really enjoyed it. Fantastic. So, was it your um, was it the tutors at Colleague Gwent uh, help, helped you direct you in in, in regards to the competition? Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, like I said, so I, I did all of the, the the level two, the level three courses, and Karis, my tutor, she said, you you know. You, you're smiling you know Karis so oh, we know Karis yeah. we love her here yeah. yeah so she she um encouraged me to take part in the competition um Chris as well she's been really helpful and really encouraged me to to get involved as well and I think it's an extra learning um mechanism for me as well so it's, it's not just about doing the courses it's about learning as you go on so um, I, it's funny I was listening to James Allen's interview with you from last year yes. <laughs> and he said a similar thing it's like learning to drive mm -hmm. so you, you actually learn after you've yeah. finished 
you know after you've got the qualification that's when the learning starts mm. yeah. it's really interesting to hear how you um about the science kind of side of things like your interest in that because you, you kind of come at it from a completely different angle yeah. so you know where Whereas um, a lot of the people, you know, uh, have different backgrounds so that they're either like a gym person or, you know, the NHS or that kind of thing, but you've got it from a different angle. So it's like how the body works for, you know, from and yeah. understanding like the cause and effect. And it, it's just interesting to hear how, how you, you come at it from that angle from the science side. So like with, with, with that is, is the, the, that's something you see yourself doing in the future like to combine those or have you got like a dream goal with the two it, yeah it, it does interest me actually um I haven't thought too much about the future um in terms of additional qualifications I'm taking it year by year really because I'm still enjoying my job and um, fitness is is a hobby for me really um at, at the moment mm. uh but yeah, I, I do really want to understand more about how the body works. It's, it's coming from that, like you said, that analytical angle yeah. that really interests me. It's answering questions. Um, yeah, just a sports science would be a fabulous place to go next. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I can definitely see you doing something like that. I, I think it's, uh, I, I can see that you're energised by like, a, like, a, like almost like a, like a new passion of like learning about different aspects. So, uh, so, so you, you've obviously got the bug. Yeah, oh, it's, it's the learning. It's always learning something new yeah. that, that grabs me. Um, it, it could be anything, but I do love learning all the time. And I think you never stop. And I think that's the way you should live your life, isn't it? It's yeah. always trying to get absorb new information. Yeah, yeah. So, so you said you did your level two and your level three, and uh, yeah. have, you, have you got plans for other things? Did you did you say in the pipeline? I, I've sort of been picking everything up as I have yeah. any course that's been going. I've grabbed it just because I've fallen in love. So is the um, sports massage yeah. I've done as well, and the GP referral, and um, Pilates. I, I can't think altogether what what I've grabbed, but um. But at the moment, it's a level four sports massage that I'm working towards. Fantastic. But again, it's all, all that science coming yes. into it, that the anatomy <laughs> and physiology and learning about the body and how it works. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. Well done, you. How fabulous. Mm-hmm. so with, with that um with that kind of thing it's a, a lot of it's face to face you're dealing with clients how, how does that make you feel like with them because obviously last year's competition was all online how does it make you feel how, like getting to do it now this year face to face at Loughborough College I think it's a fabulous opportunity um to, to actually be face to face makes it it feels more real you can have more mm. of a connection with everybody involved um, technology is fabulous but it does take away that personal touch just a little bit and um, you, you can't see as well what your client is doing so to be able to get there and talk to your client and be able to um, you know put hands on if necessary is, is so much more helpful in, t- in terms of helping your client uh, and to see as well how well they're doing to yeah it it is that that personal connection it's lovely to be doing it in real life then yeah I think I think you've got the right nail on the head there's like it's digital has its place and and of course I think after the last sort of year and a bit that we've we've come out of, of, of course, you know, we, we haven't been able to cope with our on, on, online, but but I, I think you're right. I, I think it's never going to replace that face-to-face connection, is it? I, I, I don't think you could ever, ever, ever do that. No, I, I, I don't think so either. Like you say, it's, um, it's been in this, a necessity for us, but to get back to seeing people, that's, that's what we need now yeah, yeah no we're, we're, yeah. we're all enjoying that so can you tell us about your journey so far so of course um can you let us know about how you started in the heats and of course what you had to do back then and of course then I guess preparing for the great finals that, that are not very far away are they no they're not they're not they're just around the corner it's, it's sort of crept up on me all of a sudden um how did it start it seems like a really long time ago um 
oh gosh, what did, what did we have to do? Um, so I started off with the Welsh skills as, as a taste of what would come really. So it was um, a 10 minute video showing five exercises and showing progressions and regressions. So it, it was in that COVID time where, you know, we did have to do everything by computer. So it was a really good introduction. Um, in terms of getting started with real skills, it was, we had um, a 30 minute exam to do. And we also had to um, compile a two minute promotional video. So I, ha I had lots of help from my tutors in terms of filming. Um, so taking lots of different shots, editing them together, which really isn't my background. So it did challenge me, but I did learn a lot along the way as well. Um, it's, oh, it does seem like a long time ago that. Um, so we were waiting for those results to come through then to see if we'd made it through to the next stage. Um, what did we, it is, it, it has been a journey. So, 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 so we so had, you, so I mean, really, you're looking at pretty much, it'd be like close, close to a year, won't it, really? I mean, it I, I did, is, I did yeah, it's, months, it's surprising. It? how how long is stretched over it does feel like a really long time ago even though the the number of tasks hasn't been that great um and the next tax task that we had to do then was to um compile a zoom session for um a personal training client um so i had my lovely client zoe do a session that i planned and had to set the plan send the plan off in advance of that session and she was fabulous she did a really good job um, we were on Zoom, so like I said, it is more difficult, but she really enjoyed the session. She put the work in it's really hard. That was a fantastic session. And again, it was that waiting process then. It, it always seems to be the hardest bit, I think, is the waiting in between. And at the, at the moment, I'm working on more session plans and a 12-week overview. Again, for, for Zoe to be able to um, send off tomorrow actually um, th to prepare for the finals then in, in Loughborough. Yeah well I, I hope we're not keeping you away too much otherwise we'll get <laughs> on the, 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 the no, team not at all. <laughs> it'd be a bit but worrying if I... for an extension <laughs> it'd, it'd be a bit worrying if I wasn't nearly ready at this point. <laughs> well I'm, 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 I'm delighted to hear that. <laughs> And uh, we were speaking to the AOC team the other day, weren't we, Anna? And uh, they Absolutely. had some key advice. So what was that key advice? Read the criteria. Yes, I've heard that one a few Read, times. read, read. Yeah. 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 Use a highlighter, yeah. underline Absolutely. Read it yeah. double, twice, three times, four times. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I think, I think that is the best piece of advice yeah. that I've been given. It, <laughs> it, it is all about those points, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, how did you feel um, when you you know, found out that you were through to the finals? I can't remember quite how it happened. I was waiting for an email to come through, I think, but I didn't get to read the email because my WhatsApp chat was going off in the background. Somebody else had seen it before me. Uh -huh. So that, so our group chat that we're involved in, that was going off. It was, um, to say that all four of us had got through to the finals. So I was really excited to be going through together as a team mm. really lovely yeah see, see I think that's really fantastic because obviously we've, we've, we've spoken to uh, most of obviously your other finalists from Colleague Gwent as well and of course uh, you know they've always said the same thing about you know being a team it's team Wales it's team Colleague yeah. Gwent you know you're going to go there flying the flag and of course and, and you've all, all been supporting each other which is fantastic to hear as well even, even though yeah. you are competitors in a way as well and I guess yeah. the key question is, is Colin Gwent going to bring home gold, silver and bronze? Well, that'd be fabulous, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because you, you, you are going in as a team, but, you know, you are competing against each other as well. So how, how does that feel? It's, I, how can I explain it? it? It doesn't feel like I'm competing against them as, as such. Um, it feels at the moment we, we're all in the final together. We're all winners. Um, it's, a, it's a learning process and we're there to support each other. Mm -hmm. So in as much as it would be fabulous if, if I were to get a medal, I would be really happy, just as happy 
if one of my my colleagues did as well so really want to support them and we are always supporting each other and that and that's the best mindset to have for this competition that's that's the perfect way to look at it because again it's not just about winning as we've said previously you are all winners even though it sounds cheesy because you know you're you're all you know going through the experience together and you get so much from all the critiques and all the experience that you go through that the, the whole competition the competition as a whole kind of grows you as a person yeah absolutely it's about the experience and what we learn along the way yeah completely agree yeah I mean we we, we hear that a lot from previous obviously winners and contestants and I'm, I'm sure you'll be familiar with the name Daniel Hall Absolutely. Took gold back in 2019 yeah. of course she's a colleague Gwent student as well so of course no pressure Amanda to uh, keep no, that no, no, at all. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, but has uh, Danielle give you, given you some good advice and um, we yes we had um, a, a Zoom call with Danielle on Wednesday and her advice um, your main piece of advice again was to you know read the criteria <laughs> <laughs> Take a deep breath, relax, enjoy the journey, learn as much as you can. And don't go into it with the, you know, the mindset that I need to win this medal. The mindset should be, yeah. what can I learn? What can yeah. I take from this experience? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, think, I think that's spot on. I think, I think that's a really good piece of advice for, for all, all this year's finalists. But, uh, but I, I, hopefully you're really excited about it. I mean, it's literally... Yeah coming up now I mean it's the start of November next week so it's not that far away now no, no, <laughs> no pressure just, just over a fortnight <laughs> so, uh, and Anna will be there in person so she will be cheering you on on the Absolutely. sidelines um, I'm, I'm expecting to see a lot of uh, Welsh flags and things going on uh, as, 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 as a lot of you uh, hopefully uh, tra- traveling up and uh, coming across there I hadn't so, thought uh, about Welsh flag but I have uh, now thank you <laughs> Now, now, now you'll take one, right? I will now, yeah. <laughs> I, I've got one in my box. <laughs> very good, very good. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting a lot to see, see a lot of dragons and and and, and things there. So, so yeah, that 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 would be good. That would be good. So, but th- thank you so much for joining us today. It's it's been an absolute oh, delight for having to me. Get to know you a better. Um, I'm I'm really looking forward to obviously see how you um uh, you know um adapt the science angle to to the to the finals and and. And, and, and your future career I think that's going to be really exciting for, for you I think that's going to be a re- really good take on that so but we wish you all the best um keep Anna on her toes but when, when yeah. you see in a couple of weeks uh, um, you know and uh you know f- feel free to put her for her paces as well and uh you know she, she, she loves a good PT session does Anna yeah marvelous <laughs> okay keep that in mind for you that's maybe it, yeah, yeah. science lesson for a bit of both <laughs> but thank you so much Amanda our fingers are crossed for you for the finals and wishing you all the best and we'll talk to you soon oh, thank you so much thanks Amanda thank bye you. bye, bye. bye.